hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is florence if you're new here welcome if you're not welcome back um it's lovely to sit down like this and film again after so long so guys today we're going to be talking about the things i did to take my hair out of the plateau phase so this is the backstory so in um, 2012 i started my hair i had never made my hair prior to that i was usually on low cut so um if you went to a nigerian secondary school where you had to cut your hair then you can relate to what i'm saying i started doing my hair after secondary school so yeah that's when i started my whole hair process and um i didn't take my hair seriously for a long time when i started and then when i was in 200 level so that would be like um three years or four let's see so i finished secondary school with my a levels so about four years yes yeah. so about four years after i started my hair i noticed that my hair reached a plateau phase where it just wasn't growing it just was not growing it just stayed at that level and wasn't going so what i think i did to um take my hair away from that level to you know the length it is now that's what I'm going to be sharing in this video. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. You know how we do. Let's begin. Okay, so the things I, the first thing I did was that I went into full blown research. Okay. <laughs> I went into a full blown research. Like my roommates were making jest of me that time <laughs> because it was actually a lot. I started researching a lot of things, especially on Facebook. So um the natural air community wasn't exactly so popular then. It was only on Facebook you could find a lot of information. So it was on Facebook I started researching a lot of things. I started seeing a lot of things. I was taking care of my hair, blah blah blah, all of those things. So that's 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 how I started. I went into full blown research. I researched everything. I, I checked online, I read blogs, everything that I could do at that point I did. And then I went into the market. <laughs> It was so funny when I came back, like my roommate still says it, my roommate then, she's one of my best friends now, she still says it up to you today that um, she just noticed that I went out and then I came back and then she was like, I put tomatoes in my hair, <laughs> which is a lie by the way, like, I put tomatoes and onions, it was like as if I was cooking on my hair, <laughs> I bought oil, bought tomatoes, but it was funny but yeah i actually went out and um, bought a lot of things oil i can i can agree that i bought oil so that was when i came in contact with the loc method the liquid oil and cream method so i bought oil i bought shampoo i bought a lot of things and then i started incorporating them into my hair and honestly that was how i saw a change i moved from what i was doing before to something else my hair just needed a change i think that's that's what it was my hair needed a change and it needed a trim i noticed that it was because um i wasn't i wasn't trimming my hair so my split ends were causing a lot of breakage so it was like my hair is growing but the ends were breaking off so i wasn't retaining any length you know so that's basically the things i did and if you want to know what my routine changed into after that period i'm going to link the uh, my hair regimen the video of my hair regimen i'm going to link it in the description of this video and in the card so that um you can check it out so that's basically what my regimen consisted of right from that moment till maybe late late last year early this year where um i was like okay i'm comfortable with the length of my hair and if my hair still grows then fine but i'm not going to do anything more to it and then my regimen changed completely but even with my regimen change number one i find it 
very much easier to manage my hair and um, i find that my wash days are very much less i spent like about three hours on my hair now compared to like five hours that i used to spend just detangling my hair before so there's a whole lot of difference i find it easier to manage my hair and my hair is still growing and i'm just comfortable with where my hair is right now so um also for my new regimen i'm going to link it in the cards and also link it in the description box so that you can compare and contrast by yourself and you know modify i also modified my regimen to um a regimen that's for a busy person i'll also link that in the cards here and then in the description also for you to check out so that's basically it if you want to see how i have progressed over the years then check out my egg growth playlist you can go through it from the first video that i made up to the present video that i made about hair it's all there in my egg growth playlist so you can uh, just watch it and decide basically decide what exactly you want to do to your hair there's a lot of information out there there is the no hair no butter challenge also going on currently which i have um, incorporated into my routine i do not use um, oil any products in any oil form and i do not use any butter in any butter form any products in any butter form on my hair anymore so basically my routine consists of shampooing um, conditioning moisturizing my hair and just styling my hair that's basically it so everything is in those videos in more detail so you can check them out basically what i'm trying to say is if your hair is in a plateau fix then you need a change your hair needs a change it's tired of what you're doing something needs to change and you probably most likely need a trim that's all if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and share 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 it's really well i said it but please share my videos subscribe to the channel and you know let the ministry go <laughs> let the ministry go and i will see you in my next video oh yes i said i was going to do a lens check in this video it's been ages since I did a lens check, so I'm going to do a lens check in this video, and uh, it's complicated because, well, I'm sitting on a chair, but let's do the second piece of hair from there. Before my hair used to be around here, but now this is literally my waist. <laughs> Actually, this is my waist, and it's just a little bit lower than where my waist is. I'm going to get a trim soon. I am going to do a video about my hair in a straight form soon. I don't know when, but soon. So I'm going to get a trim, a professional trim. Then so. That's basically it. Bye guys.